Welcome, everybody, and we are fired up for another sensational college football matchup. Nobody at home today who can stake their claim in this neutral side showdown. We've got a top 25 matchup on hand. Two of the premier teams in the land looking to make a statement that will resonate. As we'll see, the number 15 team in the country, the Missouri Tigers, taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Louisville Cardinal. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Louisville Cardinals offense takes the field for the first time today. And here he comes. This offense is built completely around the talents of this running back, a rare commodity in today's game, and all eyes are on it. And the defense knows it, too. You know every single snap this defense is going to be keying on this running back, knowing that he is the key to the offense's success. Running to the left. And he's all close to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. They'll throw it on first down. And it's incomplete, but there's a flag in the backfield. Let's see who the call's on. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Just an obvious holding call there, and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Quarterback checking the play. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. The gift to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. Looking to pass. It's right. Trying to get to it. Has no choice but to throw it away, and it'll bring up fourth down. And the Cardinals will bring the punt team onto the field. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The Tigers' offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they gotta show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're gonna win the football. Leaves it with the back. Nifty little dance step. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Quick strike complete. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Missouri has it ready to go with another first down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Dragged down after a pickup of five out to the 35. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They feed him again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there, got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. Encroach, encroach, defense. Defense. defense just a little too eager, and that's five yards for the O. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. And the Tigers are on the move. He 
The inside handoff. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. From the gun, running back on the move. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Got quite a ways to go to keep this drive going. It's third down from the 45. Throws to the wideout. It's caught. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. Neutral zone, neutral zone, neutral zone. Defense. Defense. Neutral zone infraction will push the ball up five yards. After that encroachment penalty, it's now first and five. They'll go to the ground. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. They move the chains on the ground. Now another first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. This offense just wearing this defense down. 11th play of the drive coming. And he's knocked down, but there's also laundry on the field. We'll see what the officials have called. Hold, 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 hold. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. They'll run it from the gun. Pull down at the 29 after getting five. Twelfth play of the drive coming up, but they've got a long way to go here on third down. To throw, it's Horn. Getting some heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. How about this job by the defense? A well-disguised blitz by the free safety results in a sack. And you don't blitz the free safety much because he's a guy that stays back usually. But what do you do? You said well-disguised. That's what you've got to do. You've got to make it look like you're dropping for a pass, bring the blitz. Offensive line was full. He comes flying through there, untouched, gets the sack. And they're running out the kicker to give it a try. To give it enough body English, but he missed it. After the miss, no change in the score. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Almost the D lineman's dream, but he couldn't hang on. It'll be third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Takes the easy one to the back. He ended up going backwards on the play, and they will not convert that third down. The Cardinals decide to punt it away. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Fair catch, called for and made. They'll get things started on this drive from the 24. On the move. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They'll be able to get off one more play before quarter's end. They'll try the run. The Tigers will keep this drive going. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and it has been a defensive battle, and the stats tell the tale so far. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Might as well give it to him again. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Looking to throw, it's Horn. 
Pocket starts to collapse. And boy, was that pressure in his face immediately. Down he goes. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. He's looking downfield to throw. That's reeled in. It's Jones. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. So Missouri will have to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. Out of the gun, the inside give. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. Offense in a split backfield. They'll run the option. Good pick up there. He gets enough for the first down. And the Cardinals come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Back to pass. It's right. Pressure coming. And the defense gets to the quarterback. That defender is a matchup nightmare for any offensive lineman to block. He's got athleticism. He's got length. He's got flexibility. He put it all on display on that sack. The Cardinals send out the punt unit. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. No return coming here. Fair catch is signaled for and made just shy of the 30. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the ground with the back. And midfield, he's got room. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. He's looking to throw it. Finds his man. It's Miller. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. Still some work to do after that last completion. It's second down. Fires to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. He caught it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Missouri! And this offense gets on the board and the first passing touchdown of the season. And I feel pretty confident saying the first of many. This offense looks like they're in a good rhythm and this passing attack's going to be hard to stop. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Oklahoma rolled 
to a victory. And after putting up this kind of win, there has to be some Heisman buzz around a program that produced four wins of the award between 2003 and 2018. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking left. He makes a catch. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football. After picking up a couple at second and eight. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Feeling some heat. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Fox running, second down coming. Back to throw, it's right. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. And the Cardinals will punt this one away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. On first down, here comes this offense. Looking to move it through the air. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. After the misfire, now on second down. He's looking to throw. Almost had the completion, just missed it. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. On the ground with the counter. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Missouri will have to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll field it close to the 50. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. Looking for a productive play on first down. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Finds the tight end. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. Looking to throw on second down. Quick completion on the out route. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Comes out throwing on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Now on second down. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Works the middle. Stop is made at the 22. A 10-yard pickup and a first down just outside the red zone. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They're bringing heat. The freshman able to get home with the sack. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they built a lead. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. To the air. It's right. Right down the middle. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. 
on third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And they won't make the connection, looking to make a big play there. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. This is going to be a 46-yard field goal attempt. And the try is no good. After that miss, still a seven-point game, guys. With eight seconds to go in the half, wonder if they'll try to get a big play just to see what happens. They'll leave it with him. Runs through the tackle. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Just enough time for one final play of the half. On second down, looking again to throw. He'll off one deep down the left side. Incomplete. He took a shot on the final play of the quarter and couldn't quite find his man. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. It's time to throw it back to our guys in the booth to start up the second half. On the move from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. Mizzou has it back on the offense coming out on the field. They'll open the second half on the ground. They knock him down, but not before he gets it out to the 21-yard line. Pick up a four. Solid pick up a four on first down. It's second and six. And off to Jones. Out to the 35-yard line and a little extra breathing room with that 15-yard pickup. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Quick handoff. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Here's the handoff. And they make the tackle, but the official has tossed his flag. Hold it. Hold it. Up and up and We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. The give to the right. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Missouri comes to the line with another first down. Running back searching for a hole. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Offense in a bunch formation. Leaves it with the running back. Nifty little dance step. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Eighth play of the drive coming up. They'll give it to the back. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? Got a man. It's Jones. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Mizzou coming out with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Tight end finds a soft spot. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. 
the give. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. To the ground. He's got it again. And he'll take this into the end zone, but hang on just a second. Flag down. Let's see what this is about. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. He's got it again. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking for a man. It's Horn. They're trying to get to him. And they can't make the connection, and it could get worse. A penalty flag on the field, and it's in the holding zone. Let's get the call. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. The give out of the gun. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. Line getting set on second down. He'll try to pop the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Coming after it. Oh, he needs to get rid of it. He needs to do something, and he will go down. What a terrible, terrible play and a big loss. In that third and long situation, you'd like to see your quarterback have a plan. You know that they may dial up the blitz, so you've got to know where your answers are. Where's your hot route? Where's your sight adjust? Where can you get rid of the football if they bring an extra guy and the offense didn't look like they were ready for it? So Missouri will have to punt it away. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. It has been a complete uphill struggle for both of these offenses, Jesse. It sure has. At this point, David, someone's just going to have to step up and make a play. Someone's got to break a tackle, make an incredible catch, and just give some life to this offense. Man, whatever you can, whatever it takes. Don't worry about looking pretty. That's out the window. We've already looked really, really ugly. We've got to find something that works to put some points on the board. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. The Cardinals in the hurry up. Leaves it with the back. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. He'll do it himself. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. Wants to throw. It's right. Got his man on the right. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. And the Cardinals are on the move. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you could do there. It's now a fresh set of downs. And off from the shotgun. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Missouri has the lead. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Most important part of a clutch drive, piece together some first downs, get in position, and here they are on first and ten. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. 
Wide receiver coming across in motion. Goes to the option. And the runner is down, and so is the flag. Illegal flag on the back. Offense. Offense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The Cardinals will line it up on first and ten. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Drives ahead for three to the 27-yard line. Got three on first down at second and seven. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. From the gun, the ground game. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Here comes the option. He'll pitch it. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Down a possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. Now on the option. The pitch. And a big play there on the option. The pitch was executed perfectly. And guys, if they can somehow, some way, find their way into the end zone, we'll have a tie game in the fourth. Now the toss. And this offense hoped to just run it in, and the defense was having none of it. No game. Ball remains at the two. The option look. And I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to come off and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't Olay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. You got to go set that edge. And conversely, I can't tell you how much I hate it when receivers don't want to block. You got to do a better job on the perimeter. It's not going to be enough in this offense just to catch passes. You got to go execute your assignment. That and to the end zone he goes. Touchdown Cardinal. And how about this offense? A big situation on fourth and goal, and you trust your running back. You trust your offensive line. You trust the physicality of this unit, and they reward that trust, and they punch it in for six. Lining up to add another. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. New Mexico looked less like a pack of Lobos and more like a group of road warriors in a solid victory. This team almost always plays tough at Albuquerque, and today they found a way outside of University Stadium. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. The encroachment penalty on the D gives the offense a free five yards. Power football with the run. At the 45. He now has 106 yards on the ground, and that will put him over 100, and what a way to start the season. Catch in the middle. It's Johnson. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. He's going to pass. Quickly complete. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. To the air, it's Horn. Throws to the back. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football instead of the turnover. It'll be third down. They'll stick to the ground, looking for the marker. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. Down to the 16-yard line, it's first and 10. They'll give it to him again. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Going to work on second down. Red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. 
Off play action. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and they can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. And if you didn't know this was a big play, the crowd is telling you. A huge third down. And off to Jones. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. It is perfect. All field goals are not graded equal, guys. Kicks in the fourth quarter take the lead. They just seem to carry so much more weight. So give that young man credit for getting out there and knocking that thing through the uprights with all the pressure, with all the eyeballs on him. He delivered. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. He'll start the return inside his spot. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Trying to get to him. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And you could easily argue the biggest reason this team is trailing here in the second half is because they have not been able to protect their quarterback tonight. They've already given up five sacks in the game. And you just saw another one right there. This offensive line has had problems all night long. So they'll try to make up some of that ground on second down from the 16. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Fires to the big fella. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. Got him downfield. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He wants to throw. Getting some heat. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. To the air. It's right. Pocket stuck. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. This defense knows that turnovers win games. And here in this two-minute situation with the lead, they've got a chance to shut the door if they can create one, and they did it right there. Great job getting that ball on the ground and then being there to fall on top of it. They're going to leave here with a double. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. Now we've got a little game pressure, and we'll see how the offense responds in a three-point game, Jesse. I can't wait to see this quarterback and how he's going to be able to handle that pressure, David. How will he respond in this situation? And just know, listen, I'm only up by three now. If I can make this a two-score game, I can almost put this away in the fourth quarter. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Smashes it between the uprights. Give the defense a ton of credit in this sudden change situation. Their offense just popped it up. And this defense comes out, they go three and out, force a field goal. That's a win if you're on defense. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll bring it back from inside his five. 
And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. And now the offense will come onto the field again. Back to throw, it's right. Looking to the big tight end. It's caught downfield. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. He's looking to throw it. And the ball is intercepted. Just a really nice play. Not a lot on the return, but that's all right when you hand it to your offense at the 42. And that just kind of caps off this day. It's been a day with not a lot of rhythm, not a lot of timing, not a lot of guys on the same page, and they weren't right there, and the quarterback throws an INT, and this one is not looking good. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. And the quarterback will just drop to a knee. Bitterly disappointing start to the season as they can't come up with a W and open 0-1. And there's still so much room to improve for this football team. I know this is not the performance they were expecting here today, but there were plays to be made on the field. And David, I think moving forward, this team just got to do a better job executing. Yeah, and when you see it on tape, and you coaches have been preaching off camp about the mistakes, but now, now it's real. Now you got a loss attached to it, but a lot of conference play still ahead, a lot of opportunities to still have a successful season. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.